So for this project, the materials you're going to need is a ruler, your paper to glue on the pictures, and obviously um, your two pictures that you're going to merge together. Okay, this is for the canoptic art um, or photography one. So I'm going to um, start, you have to start by measuring the paper to be able to fit um, your two pictures. Okay, so the paper, if you came to pick a paper, it might have been a little bit too bigger, so too big, so you might have to adjust it. So just kind of measure, if you could see uh, on my paper, there's a little extra piece right there. So I am going to cut that and you don't necessarily have to cut it right now but just to make sure that uh, your pictures fit make sure you measure with the paper and then this way they should fit as well pretty even so uh, just double check that then the first step is going to be to measure with your ruler um, and i'm going to use the centimeters one not the the inches and I'm going to just make marks on both ends of the paper so I know where to fold. So just align your ruler and again all you're doing is uh, actually I was going to do one inch but I'm going to move it up to two inches so they could be a little bit larger. So every two inches Um, again, I'm only making little marks on this side, and I'm going to do the same on this side every two inches. I mean, not two inches. Uh, well, it, it depends on, on how many you want to do. I just decided to do two centimeters. So um, once you've made, let me see, two... Once you've made all your marks along all your paper, again, all you have to do is connect them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll move on to the next step. Okay, so as you can see, now I have finished making all my uh, sections. Now, after this, the step is to fold wherever you drew the line. And you're going to want to fold like an accordion style. So back and then front, back and front. Um, it might be a little bit more tricky to just do it kind of like uh, freehand like that. So a trick to help you is using the edge of your ruler, just aligning to that same line that you had made and then pressing the paper on the edge of the ruler, okay? It'll make like a, a small indent and then even though they're all going to go the same way at first, you'll have a better um, flexibility to fold them the other way later. So this is just kind of mainly to, to help you a little bit with the folds. But again, um, you don't have to do it this way if you want to speed up the process and just go ahead and do like back and forth back and forth um yeah I, I prefer this way because sometimes when i'm just folding freehand i tend to go a little bit offside okay so i'm gonna continue doing this and then i'll show you what the next step is Okay, so now that I have finished making all my indentations, I'm going to go back and um, switch the folds because remember it has to be an accordion style. So one way and then on the other fold it has to go back and so on. Like that and then front and then back. Okay. So again, uh, this step, like the first step I did with the, the ruler, you can see that um, it just kind of indents the folds. It helps to, uh, to do the accordion a little bit easier than if you just start folding it um, 
just like that right away so I'm gonna finish doing this and then um, I'll show you what's next okay okay so once you have your paper folded into the accordion the next step is to take your pictures and cut those the same size as the the folds that you did so it's gonna depend on you guys what you decide to do if you remember me i decided to do um two centimeters so i will make sure that my pictures are cut to the two centimeters okay and i am doing the lines on the back of my picture so i don't get um ink here or mess it up and so on so um, it's gonna be the same way you're gonna do it uh, uh, vertical because it's gonna go like this right so the same thing that i did when i made the lines there i'm gonna make marks here um every two centimeters make a dot make a dot and then the same here every two centimeters and then I will connect those marks and then be able to cut them with scissors so I will do that and then show you again what the next step is okay so I am just here finishing my last my second picture making the connecting the dots that I had made so I know where to cut okay so then I have both pictures with the lines now I need to cut them uh, I suggest before you cut them if you are going if you're not going to glue them right away um, you might want to number them just in case you don't necessarily have to but it helps sometimes if your pieces move around and you have to put them back together so I'm just gonna go ahead and number them So I know um, which one comes first, second, third. Then again, all I have to do now is just cut down that line that I had drawn. Okay. So I'm gonna start cutting and then pause the video and come back to show you um, how to glue them, which we're almost at the last step. And you just wanna cut them as carefully as you can so that they fit exactly the space that you have in your accordion so i will finish doing this and then i'll be back to tell you the next step okay so now that i cut both my pictures i have them ready here in order uh, we're going to start gluing them to our accordion but you have to make sure first before um, you start gluing to make sure you have the same amount of spaces for each strip. So I'm if I count mine, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight strips of each picture. That means that I have to have uh, the same amount here. So if I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That will be for one picture and then I cut on the back of that. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means that I have an extra strip here. So if you have an extra, just go ahead and cut it off so it doesn't um, bother you later when they're all glued. Uh, it's just way easier to just cut it in this. Again, just make sure you have the same amount of strips and the same amount of spaces in your accordion if you have extras go ahead and cut it out that's what i'm doing here uh -oh. um, so i had one extra i just cut it off now i'm gonna go ahead and start gluing my first picture so i'm gonna move one picture aside and then move these let me put this down move these over here so the way to do it really is you're putting one picture on one side and then the other picture on the other side. 
so it's really easy after um this really all you have to do is start gluing them it doesn't matter um which picture you put where just your choice but again you have to put them in order so that means that if um this is the edge one here i want to make sure i add that one here all right because then the other one's going to go here and here and if you want to see to make sure um that you're doing it right you could just lay them on top just to see uh, and to double check that everything looks right okay and then this one's going to be glued there so i checked they are they look right and then again all you have to do now is just start gluing them so i'm going to go ahead and take these back again because i'm going to be picking up my paper and i don't want them to fall so move them a little bit more uh, i'm gonna go ahead and start on this side then and really all you have to do is just put some glue on your magazine or your picture try to um, add enough so that they do stick if you have um, if you took the pictures from the class the ones that i had laminated i haven't tried how well they stick with the glue stick so hopefully they do stick well just make sure you do add enough and then just uh, glue it as close to the edge as possible make sure you press it down so that it sticks well and that's it eventually well after you're just going to be doing the same thing on each um, of the other one so remember you're skipping so if this was flat you're skipping um, one white space and then you're gluing it on the next and so on, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing this and then show you the final results, how it looks at the end with both pictures, okay? And I'm gluing my second one here. You could flatten the paper down a little bit so that the glue sticks. Um, then later you, you're gonna be able to fold it again. So. Okay, so I'll show you the end result in a moment. So I'm finishing this up. I'm on my last strip now. And you can see it's coming together. I might have to fold the, the slits a little bit more because again, when you're gluing, um, it's easier if you press on it, like on a flat, when it's flat. So um, if you could see, like I've kind of flattened mine a little bit because I've been pressing these down. Let me turn it this way. I just have one more there to glue. And again, I've been flattening a little bit because it's easier to glue that way. And this is my last strip. Just make sure it's glued well. Um, if you notice, like I, like some of my white paper shows. It's, pro it's because I didn't glue it as close. And like this one I glued first, so it's hard to take off now. But it's fine. Um, you know, it's not a big deal. So again, once you've finished, you could kind of see both pictures. Um, let me pull up the little comb a little bit more. At the same time. Uh, and then all you really have to do is go back and kind of fold it a little bit better or how it was. Again, my glue is pretty fresh right now, so I don't want to mess it up that much. So you might want to maybe wait a little bit while it dries. Um, but I'm just you know, doing this either way. Um, to kind of show you. But yeah, it is a bit trickier if uh, 
it's still kind of fresh the glue okay. and then um, remember you could do this as well with any of the pictures you have at home that you don't mind cutting um, and yeah it's it's a good just kind of like a fun DIY to do if you are kind of tired of just doing online stuff it'll give you something to do some busy work um, but yeah that's let me lift it up that's kind of the final result again um, when you look at it if you look at it on one side you see one picture and if you flip it the other side you see the other picture okay so that's kind of the the main goal to get um, this illusion of uh, two pictures in one if you wanted to uh, glue this down on a separate sheet of paper or like a cardboard or something you could um, just make sure you know it's the same size and then you would want to glue either with a uh, Elmer's glue or hot glue on the the folds that touch the paper so that it kind of holds it together uh, if you just leave it like that I, I mean it should be fine for for a while but it's more secure if you go in between there. And that's it. So that is one of the projects that, again, you can do uh, if you want to uh, substitute it for one of the other online projects. Uh, and then I'll show another tutorial on the weaving one, okay?